Hello, I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, coming to you live. Yeah, I'm here right now at this moment. Uh, weekend, we didn't do the greatest. Sunday, we did well. Saturday, not so much. Saturday, got beat up pretty bad, but it happens from time to time. But we're going to put in some more picks. I'm going to do for the next two days all the lines for Monday and Tuesday, that being of the 8th and 9th. For you. I do it for you. The NHL Pearl of Wisdom Show. You can check that out from 3 to 5 uh, weekdays, 3 to 5 Eastern weekdays. Come join the frolic. Sup yourself up. I'll send you my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Perlocopter. Do a little Perlo dance. We love the Perlo dance here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries for sure. Um, also, if you want to become a member, uh, 780-690-1995, message me there. It's my business phone. And uh, we'll give you uh, $20 picks or $10 picks. $20 gives you parlays. If you don't hit, you don't pay. See? So on Saturday, you wouldn't have paid. But you wouldn't have made money on your picks either. But at least you wouldn't have lost because of the pick I gave you. You wouldn't have lost more, right? Right. Okay. Let's look at uh, the picks for the next two days. I'm going to do it for the next two days. Let's check it out right now. All right. All right. Florida Panthers versus the New York Rangers. And uh, interesting stuff here. Barkoff is questionable for tonight. And uh, as it, the New York Rangers have been getting better defensively the last little while. Uh, last few games I've watched of them. Uh, I wouldn't, yeah, you know what? This is a lot closer than you think, uh, than a lot of people think. I'm probably going to have to stick with Florida here until I see a little more consistency on the defense. See Bobrovsky questionable for the New York Rangers. Or sorry, Barkov questionable and Bobrovsky. But Spencer Knight is confirmed. So Bobrovsky is probably not playing, obviously. Uh, if he is, he's going to be a backup. Um, for the New York Rangers, they've been very healthy, actually. And um, they're just trying to figure it out with their new coach, it can probably hit at any time. Took a terrible loss against Calgary. Uh, I got up on Edmonton after the low jersey uh, retiring. It looked like Edmonton was a little bit, oh, wow, they have retired. Oh, we were playing hockey. Okay. And then they came back in the end and won. So they're on a three game losing streak. And uh, I imagine they're going to want to be playing pretty tough after that. Uh, Calgary lost because they looked poop tea. However, this is a first game back after a long road trip. I, I'm going to have to go Florida here. Uh, I just first game back from a long road trip. Young team. Shesterkin could win it for them. Shesterkin is supposed to be in, um, but I haven't. Ha I just don't have enough confidence in them right now to be winning first games back off of a long road trip against a high flying team like Florida, even with Barkoff being out. So could be tight. Um, it, it's not a slam dunk, but for one ninety, I don't mind that play. Uh, Buffalo versus Washington, and the uh, the thing with Buffalo is is Tukarski going to be in net? There has been talk that Anderson might be back. If we look at the matchup here, um, you got, see, questionable for Anderson. I like Buffalo a little better. And Washington is kind is pretty banged up. They have Backstrom out, Oshi out, and Mantha out. The thing is, especially if Tarkarski is going to be in, uh, I can't see. Ovechkin should have a heyday with that. Seriously. Um, all Washington has to do is outwork him here. And Washington at home is usually pretty money. So, and B Buffalo just hasn't been playing like they were the first couple of games. They're not a, they're about 500 right now, I believe. And 
the last couple of games that they played, they haven't played with the same confidence, the same stripe. Ever since Eichel got traded, too. Because when Eichel got traded, I think all of the players were hoping there would be some guys that could help them right now. And when that didn't happen, it kind of put in their mindset that, you know what, they, this they don't really believe in us here. They say they do, but they don't. It's like getting a mixed message. And Washington, they lost to Philadelphia last game, did not score a goal uh, against Philadelphia. I imagine they're going to be – they're not going to be overlooking Buffalo here. There's no way. So I'm going to take Washington um, to win that game. Los Angeles versus Toronto. I know a lot of people are all over Los Angeles puck line here. But Peter, uh, Quick should be in net, actually. Quick now has really become the number one because Peterson has not been good this year. Um, but Quick is not that great either. Toronto is Marner and Matthews are looking like what we all expected them to be this year. I, I don't think that's going to stop here. They're on a five-game winning streak. This will be the sixth. Los Angeles is not going to be an easy out. Whoops. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go here. Los Angeles isn't going to be an easy out. They, they're they on a three or four game winning streak themselves, I believe. And uh, yeah, three game, four game winning streak. Now they played Montreal. That was in kind of an easy game. Uh, played Buffalo played them tough, tougher than really they should have because they didn't look great. Neither team did in that game. St. Louis is losing their confidence and they beat them. And New Jersey, I believe, is on the back, on the backside of a back-to-back. So those are that's fairly easy competition. This is going to be a big game for them, and I just think Toronto is hitting their stride. The five-two game over Boston, I think, is going to give them a lot of confidence going into this game. The only question would be if they would overlook LA, but. Uh, They beat Tampa Bay. They beat the Vegas Golden Knights. They could have overlooked them. It seemed to click in against Detroit where they just said, okay, you know what? We're way better than this. And, And against Detroit, I think after that game, the coach, Keith, Sheldon Keith, was like, are we going to start now? You guys have it. You can score. You know you can Building confidence. I'm gonna. You guys gotta stop. Start believing in yourself and believe in yourself now. You're a great team, and they're playing like it now. Also, it was gonna take a while for these players to gel together, and I think they're gelling. So, as you can tell, I'm taking Toronto over LA now. Tuesday, November nine. These are my early picks for Tuesday, November nine. If you like my updated picks, you can go over to my Patreon. Go BPAL Picks, Patreon app, search BPAL Picks, and you'll find me there. Or you can become a member at 780-690-1995. Yeah, had a bit of a rough weekend, but this year we have been crushing it. We have been hitting very, very well. Uh, Boston versus Ottawa. After that game against Toronto, I'm wondering what their confidence is like here. This is, uh, but, and Ottawa has started to play a little better, but their defense is so beat up. It's, that's the, that's the main problem. And not only that goaltending, they sent Gustafson down. That's right. I forgot about that. Who I think is their better goaltender. Uh, Tyler Ennis is questionable. Holden questionable. They got, see, a lot of, uh, and then, and Boston's fairly healthy. I think they're going to be – Boston will be going balls out on this game. After losing to Toronto, they can't lose any more ground here. Um, I imagine Ottawa is going to keep running with Murray, and I just have no confidence in that guy. And Forsberg either. So I'm going to go Boston. Hopefully they put Swayman in. And uh, they'll – because Allmark has been kind of shaky so far. Got to say, he's a little bit intimidated by that kid, I think. Uh, Swayman. Los Angeles versus Montreal. That'll be on a back to back, and uh, that's they're they're gonna have Peterson in. If Montreal's gonna win one, 
this is this looks like one that they could win. Uh, the problem is I have no faith in Allen. And he looks like he's going to be playing. Now, if Price is in here, I'm going Montreal all day. If not, I'm probably fading, but I'm going to say Montreal. Florida versus New Jersey. Now, that's, again, a back-to-back. Um, I want to know who, what, who they're going to put in for a goaltender here. That's kind of the big problem. Let's go look at what who Flor. I don't even know who Florida's backup goaltender is at the moment, to tell you the honest truth. So let's take a look at it. Um, now, after playing the New York Rangers, they're going to win that game. New Jersey has started to look a lot better as of late. I think this is going to be kind of a barn burner game. Um, they'll ha- their their legs will be a bit heavy. Oh, Christopher Gibson. If Christopher Gibson is in, I'm going to take New Jersey to win that game. Uh, Christopher Gibson's a poor goaltender. Uh, New Jersey should have Blackwood in net. He was absolutely stellar their last game. So I'm going to take New Jersey over Florida. Uh, Carolina and Tampa Bay. Carolina just had the worst game that they've had in a very long time against uh, Florida, the last game, I think they're going to be set up and ready to go here. I'm going to take Carolina to beat Tampa in this game. Vasilevsky will be in. It's going to be – I may actually just fade it because it's, it's going to be a great game. But uh, I think I think uh, Brindamore will have them set up and ready to go for this game. He, he's, uh, he's such a magician when it comes to motivating this team. He's not going to be too hard on them because of one bad game. He'll have them feeling good about themselves and ready to go against Tampa Bay. So I'm going to take Carolina over Tampa Bay. Edmonton over Detroit. i got to keep rolling with Edmonton the way their offense is going. Uh, Detroit doesn't have much on the back end to be able to stop them. Uh, I don't know if Nedeljkovic or Grice is going to be in, but I have a feeling Edmonton will have a field day here. Edmonton, money line. Uh, Winnipeg versus St. Louis. The loss against Anaheim did not look good. Yes, Anna, uh, Anaheim won because they were more confident. St. Louis did not look confident in that game. Um, Winnipeg has all their guns back, Shifley, Wheeler. And uh, the question will be, I wonder if he's questionable, is Hollebuck going to be in net? Comrie has been okay. Let's see, what do we got? Is he questionable? Yes, he's questionable for that game already. Shifley, oh, is he questionable? And Stastny is questionable? Oh, boy. That's going to be a tough one. All right, I'm sticking with Winnipeg for now. And like I said, if you want to know what my final pick is, 780-690-1995 or head to my Patreon. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Chicago. Chicago changed their coach. I'll tell you what, they're going to be playing a much more defensive game, Chicago now. This uh, King is a very defensive-minded coach. They are changing their philosophy completely. It's not going to be the same as it was with Colleton. And also their general manager as well. This is going to be a total shift for Chicago. Uh, So against Pittsburgh who we will have to see again. There's going to be a lot of injury questions coming into this game. Um, It's taking a little bit of a while to go here. A lot of injury questions coming into this game for Pittsburgh. I don't like going against Crosby is questionable because of the COVID-19 thing. Uh, Melkin is out for a while. Demelin is questionable. All of those guys are questionable. Um, Hagel left game with nobody knows what it was what what happened there. Flurry will likely be in net, and he's going to be a little embarrassed about the loss he had at home to Pittsburgh in the last game. Call me crazy, but I think Chicago is going to win this game. I'm taking Chicago. San Jose versus Calgary. Uh, San Jose, I love their energy right now, but I like Calgary's energy more. And I like their goaltending more. This the big question here was: Will San Jose go with Reimer, or they will they go with Hill? Hill has not looked good. Reimer has, but I still think Calgary 
is going to be able to uh, do a lot in the defensive zone against uh, San Jose with guys that cough up the puck quite a bit. San Jose is going to have a hard time penetrating Calgary's pure uh, aggressiveness that they have. I think Calgary wins that game. Anaheim versus Vancouver. Vancouver came off a big win off of Dallas. Uh, Six goals, three assists. They look like they have their offense going here. However, I can't necessarily go against Anaheim the way they played against St. Louis. Uh, this is going to be a tough game to pick. I, I I would probably take Anaheim on the puck line here. I'm going to give you puck line. Anaheim on the puck line, I think, would be the best play here. They're pro- You're going to get the same odds either way. And uh, Seattle versus Vegas at home. After losing to Arizona, which they looked like they were afraid to win in that game. Um, Vegas, hopefully, again, this is a tough one too because let's see who they might finally have back. When is Stone? When are these guys going to come back? They're going to be day to get day forever. Are they, is it going to be at least questionable? IR, IR, Pacioretty, IR, Carlson is out indefinitely. Uh, yes, Pat, they got so many people on the IR, but their defense is is, is very good, and uh, Laner has been playing very well. Um, I'm going to slightly take Vegas in that game, slightly. Uh, I think the, the, Seattle got a little bit demoralized in that last loss. They could turn it around and, and really just give her – out of and like get over their embarrassment and use that as an energy to be able to win in this game. Um, oh, wait, this is the first game back from a long road trip for Vegas. That's right. They played Detroit, Montreal on the road, Ottawa. They were flying. This is right around the time that they found out about Eichel. Then they got up against Detroit and they looked overconfident. It's a tough game. Uh, you know what? Scrap that. I'm going to take Seattle. Seattle over Vegas. First game back from a road trip. I generally don't touch those games. I'll have more. I'll have more. I'll I'll, I'll be able to. Uh, I'll be able to look deeper into these things. But you got to be there. So seven eight zero six nine zero one nine nine five. Those are my picks for the next two days, boys and girls. That's my full forty two. Have a great day. Okay, bye.